Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak about the new connect system. Welcome to a new video. So the latest Qashqai comes with the new connect system. One of the main troubles with the older Qashqais was that the connectivity that they um, are really proud about isn't really um, up to um, it, its promises. One of the, the main issues is the um, map data, which is really old and updates are really expensive. And um, you can connect the system to um, uh, nice to other systems uh, as Apple CarPlay. So they solve this problem with the, this new connect module. You can recognize it easily because it doesn't have an SD card slot any longer. And um, well, the, the goal of this video is to introduce you a little bit about the workings of it. So when you uh, start the car, uh, you get to this main menu. Uh, it is an Android based system and you can um, arrange the icons a little bit to your own likings. So this is my home screen, but you can play around a little bit with the icons that you can see. You can uh, choose other clocks if you like and uh, you can arrange the way it looks. So when I go to this, I can change the look with widgets so here you can see some options that I have in the bottom you always have some shortcuts as well so there's another home screen radio options the main thing that you would like to know is how is the map data so as you can see it is completely different uh, it is powered by TomTom Tom now and uh, you get free updates for uh, I thought it was a period of five years and uh, I have to say I really like the workings of TomTom Tom. it is uh, of course up to date it gives uh, good in and clear instructions and it is uh, very nice to, uh, to use only one but and that is TomTom uh, Tom doesn't provide radar information so you don't get um, your um, radar alerts something I uh, did really miss in the beginning so I played a bit of it around with that and I will, I will come back to that later in this video so for the audio we have the standard uh, DAB plus uh, options FM and AM as well we have the camera I think the um, resolution is a little bit better than it was still um, if it isn't uh, up to the resolution compared to the Renault Kajar for example or um, Volkswagen Golf uh, but uh, they only have a rear camera and they don't have this round view monitor so maybe that's uh, something to keep in mind as well uh, another thing that you should know is that the um there isn't a uh, possibility anymore to import your own uh, PUIs, which is point of interest. Uh, I used to have an USB stick with all my point of interests on them, and um, uh, I also have my radars on them, uh, but especially uh, all my contacts, my friends, um, and uh, some uh, holiday locations, parking lots, etc. But uh, there isn't an option anymore. Uh, you can, however, um, uh, record some addresses within the GPS itself. So one of the main things that changes on uh, this Connect system is that you can do your updates yourself. In order to do so, um, you need to be connected to or uh, a hotspot or you have to be connected to uh, your Wi-Fi. So here at home, uh, as you can see, my home is over there. <laughs> I am connected to the Wi-Fi. Wi -Fi. Yes, I am. Uh, you also can see my uh, dash cam that is connected. But I am connected to the um, Wi-Fi 
of my house and um, this way I can perform updates if I uh, would like to. So when I go to my update panel that's right here I can see the version of the um, of my system I can search for updates of my system and I can search for updates of my map data so let's see if I want to use USB or Wi-Fi I will choose for the Wi-Fi right now and let's see what it says it's searching for the last version of the card And there I get a message that I already have the most recent version. So let's go back and let's see if there is a new version of the system. So it is set to automatic. So I already had the occasion that uh, when I was driving off I get a message of a new version. So there you should keep in mind that uh, you should or activate your hotspot on your cell phone or stay at home uh, connected to the Wi-Fi network in order to perform this uh, download and installation of your um, update. So for that the motor sh should keep uh, running. Uh, it can take some time, so stay in your car, wait uh, till everything is downloaded and installed and afterwards you should shut down the motor and wait for 20 minutes and when you restart the car you will see that the update is installed so another thing that i can say if you are connected on your cell phone with the door-to-door uh, -door application every time you start the car you get a little pop-up that you are connected to the system so the application there it is Give some options to uh, plan ahead your route or to um, navigate back to your car in a, if sometimes you're in a big city and you don't really remember where you parked the car. This application give, uh, gives the possibility to navigate uh, more easily to your contacts and it sends so when you uh, plan ahead a route um, once you're connected to your system the system will generate a pop-up and you just click on it and it uh, will set your navigation directly to um, the options you choose on, on your smartphone. However, and this is something really important to remember, the car also has CarPlay and Android um, car and I really love this feature. Uh, it's something I missed on my previous uh, Connect and uh, this is now the system I use all the time so I don't even uh, use the TomTom -tom any longer. So whenever when I uh, start the car, I will plug in this little cable. As you can see, I installed uh, some easy attach to hold the cable right here. The cable is plugged in directly to the USB port that you can see down here. So let's do so. So Directly when you connect the telephone to your system, it uh, detects the uh, CarPlay. You can also see that it uses my hotspot right now. Um, and um, well, I can still navigate through uh, my normal menu, but now you can see a little CarPlay option here as well. So when I go to CarPlay, I have uh, my apps that are um, useful in the car uh, i don't have so many but that is because i uh, mainly use waze now and within waze you have actual um, updated um, map data you have all the information from other users about speed um, uh, limits uh, radar uh, police controls etc etc but if you like uh, apple maps or even google maps all is available Quite nice also is the fact that you have the messages and WhatsApp um, there. So you can access it um, normally, but when you want to uh, read messages, you will see that um, Siri is activated and uh, Siri will read those messages. Other fun thing is that, um, to the great joy of my uh, children by the way, is when you uh, receive a message uh, with smileys or emoticons, 
in them, uh, Siri will um, tell that you have a message with uh, an X number of emoticons, and then it will describe the emoticons one by one. So the last time when driving, I received a, a small SMS of my boy with, I think, 20 uh, emoticons in it, and uh, we had some great fun. <laughs> okay. So what I uh, want to tell you is uh, I tried to use the TomTom map data together with Waze. That didn't work. You really have to choose between or navigate on uh, your TomTom or navigate on a CarPlay app. So that's why I mainly use Waze for now. Um, also, this door-to-door -door app won't work any longer when you're um, connected to your um, Apple CarPlay. So don't try to search your friends and navigate to them by that app. Uh, try it directly into your uh, Apple CarPlay system. So another thing that I had some issues with in the beginning, um, I had activated um, an option within the navigation um, that was uh, the info traffic, I think. Here you can see. So use the premium traffic. I had put it to on and every time I started the car I had a little pop-up which asked me if it was okay to use data. Uh, quite annoying so I set it to off even if you have um, a free access to this premium traffic but well, with um, Waze I have the same information as well. Another nice thing is when you use um, Waze uh, as I do you have your default Waze information uh, right here but if you activate your phone um, you will get the instructions steps one by one so you have two different sets of information which could be quite useful the thing that I had to do uh, however is set my ways to always on daylight mode uh, because with the phone in this posi position uh, the camera uh, doesn't ha have enough light and it puts my ways always in night mode uh, which I personally don't really like I can show you the um, voice recognition as well. Veuillez dire ou sélectionner une commande. Siri. Cette fonction n'est pas disponible lorsqu'Apple CarPlay est actif. Pour utiliser Siri, maintenez enfoncé le bouton de reconnaissance vocale. Veuillez dire ou sélectionner une commande. Est-ce qu'il fera beau demain? Le temps s'annonce très beau. Attendez-vous à un ciel partiellement couvert demain. La température maximale sera de 19 degrés et la température minimale sera de 8. If you press one time, you have the voice recognition that uh, is uh, default with the Connect system. That works quite uh, okay. It gives you some uh, instructions how to use. And so here you see some instructions, uh, what you can say and ask. It is a little bit limited, but still... Um, page so, suivante. So Veuillez dire ou sélectionner une commande. Page suivante. Liste affichée. Retour. Veuillez dire ou sélectionner une commande. So Audio. Audio. Veuillez Audio. dire ou sélectionner une commande de la liste affichée. So you can see all the audio instructions as well. Retour. Veuillez dire ou sélectionner une commande. Information. Veuillez dire ou sélectionner une commande de la liste affichée. Info trafic. Affichage en cours des info trafic. Info trafic proximité. So. Um, well, the voice recognition uh, that comes default by the system works really great, I have to say. Um, as you can hear, I speak French, but maybe with a small accent, as I'm a native Dutch speaker. But it doesn't really have troubles uh, by uh, understanding my um, commands. So that's all for the um, new Connect system. Hope you like this uh, short introduction to this new system. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.